We are on the verge of the most profound industrial revolution in human history. That is pretty clear. You need to prepare for tremendous, tremendous change. And I don't say this with any sense of dread. I say this with a tremendous amount of excitement and pleasure. But if ChatGPT surprised you, just wait. The next decade is going to be the most marvelous and spectacular decade in human history. We are standing at the precipice of the most exciting accelerant to improving the human experience we've ever seen, and we're scared of what it might actually do. I get to now serve as a counter narrative to this prevailing sentiment that an AI powered future has to be dystopian or has to be apocalyptic. I've been in about 300 of the Fortune 1000 boardrooms. Everyone has the same question from my mom to the global leaders, which is what happens next. Are we gonna be okay? OpenAI led many of us to think about what's next. To answer that question, please join me in welcoming AI futurist and former head of go-to-market for OpenAI, Zach Cass. First thing I'm gonna tell you is I think the future is abundant, definitionally abundant. I think that we will have plentiful energy, water, foodstuffs. I think it is basically certain that we will cure cancer and neurodegenerative diseases probably within the decade. And ultimately the argument here is that we are humans beginning an exponential journey together. And we all need to prepare for this future in large part so that when it arrives, we don't reject it. Here's how you should prepare. First principle thinking has become existentially important. It is not sufficient to just say, hey, we'll automate it with AI. Now is actually a great time to look at all the things that are broken and ask yourself, why do we do this? Why do I do this thing? Is this actually what I wanna be working on? Is this process actually required? I think that humans are about to rediscover what it means to be human in a very profound way as a result of the time we get back in our day. The ultimate promise of AI, and I talk about this as much as I can, is that I think it actually allows us the opportunity to be more human and have more time. And we will come to realize that what we actually want to be doing on this earth is spending time with family and friends and everything else we can sort of surrender in a way that I think really lifts the human experience up. Because AI is actually probably going to commoditize skills and knowledge, you should prepare your life and design your life and work for the things that AI cannot do, which is optimizing for humanistic qualities and skills. There are immutable characteristics of being human that define us in ways that machines could never understand. I'll use outstanding. The positive message that what AI can do for us and not what AI will do to us. Zach did an excellent job. Genuine about the topic, very knowledgeable. We are humans and we are gonna harness this technology to improve our experiences, not the other way around. He believes so strongly in a future that is enabled by AI and he wants to share that message with the world. It was great to see him deliver on all those expectations. And so in a future where AI is able to do a lot of your job similar to you, there is still a tremendous amount that it cannot do. AI does not have vision. AI does not have wisdom. AI does not have courage. AI does not have curiosity. This is what defines us. What's so important about the future is that we empower ourselves to use AI to improve the human experience such that AI makes us more human, not less. That we spend more time with friends and family. That we enjoy the things that we do because, not despite the fact that we do them. So much of what I do today is actually reimagining my life exactly how I want to live it. In a future already now powered by AI, where I can spend more time with family and friends, talking about the thing that matters most to me in this world, the abundant future.